Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Mini Metro. This may just be the last... No, I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Every time I say it, it might be the last episode. It might just not be. You guys have been tremendous with the support uh, for this little mini-series, I guess you could call it. When I first made a video of this, I thought, hey, we're just going to play this game, have fun, and I thought it'd be the kind of thing that you'd see once and you wouldn't be interested in anymore, but you guys have proved me wrong on that one. Um, today we're going to play this on the regular difficulty and we're going to play in Auckland. have no idea where in the world that is, but this one looks interesting. As you can see, I have played it before and uh, we're going to jump right into this as always. So we'll start off with a looped line like this and our strategy, oh let's also put ourselves on the faster speed, our strategy for this one is to uh, to build some circle lines but to separate them a lot more than we did last time. Now last time when we played we failed and a lot of you said that it was perhaps because we had all of our locomotives going in the same direction around a single line so I'm thinking this time around we'll try and get it so that we have two going in one direction, two going in the other direction, if we even get that far you know might not get that far into the game. So uh, straight away we've got something on the other island over there and we'll just connect that nice and simple um, with one locomotive or one line and look circle square triangle that's the way to do things so now we want to connect this one up and I'm thinking let's disconnect it there and I was doing that so we didn't have to use a bridge but apparently no that counts as a bridge and if you look at the layout of this place we might find um, that we have a few incidences like that and we're definitely going to need some bridges so we've got to watch out for it but for now we're going to connect that one up like so and creating some ring lines on this one could be especially difficult just considering um, the layout of all of these you know, watery areas. You can see there's some down the bottom as well, so it'll be interesting to see how it all comes together. We're going to take uh, a carriage at this point. don't think we need an extra line straight away. What we do need is bridges though, so if we see one of those, we're going to have to take it. And we've got a unique one up there. I think it'd be smart to connect the green one like this, just so we have two of these lines going to our unique stop. So uh, the red line is going to be dropping people off on that square one, that's for sure. So we might need to make that an interchange. Let's keep this going on the fastest speed. By the way, we changed this over to the light mode instead of the uh, the dark one. Got a few requests for that. That's kind of worrying. I have no more bridges and I also can't get over to this area. So we're going to have to disconnect you and bring the blue line across there. And here's another problem. We're going to have to stop this thing being a ring road by the looks of it as we now have this and we can't even connect to it. But we can connect to it if we do that, which is no good really, is it? and uh, let's put the triangle in the middle of that so I think it might be wise to now disconnect that bit there red does look a little bit overworked and it could probably do with that extra carriage that we've got remember we've also got an extra locomotive and we'll get one in the next round as well so you can go over there to circle and so far things don't look too great I'm worried about these bridges are we playing on the fastest speed we are okay let's drag that up to the top got another one right there it's looking pretty cool and uh, yeah, I'm worried about the bridges, that's for sure. We do have one extra locomotive in reserve, I did mention that. And uh, now we've got two in reserve, and we've got more tunnels, which is cool. So where do we want these to go? I kind of feel like in the beginning, um, let's get this going in the opposite direction like that. Although, that doesn't count because it's not a circle line at the moment. <laughs> uh, I guess that's true. Right, let's go and connect these two to that one, because it's a unique. And let's put an extra one over here on the blue line. So, yeah, I feel like there's going to be a mid-level redesign. At the moment things are okay but as we get more stations cropping up the way these water paths are going I can just see them becoming an issue like this so there's probably going to be a lot of redesigning later on and look at that loads of people want to go to this station so they're getting dropped off over there so it's a good thing that all of our um, stations connect to it and that this one has the capacity for two and now red is going to take on an extra triangle line by the looks of it and maybe red is a little bit overworked here we could possibly uh, take one off its hands and, and drag this over here, which is what we'll do. We'll give it a little bit of support that way. Uh, let's press free and make sure we're going on the fastest speed. That's something I forget every time. I wish you could just play on this by default and then speed it down if things change. Uh, but so far looking good and another unique station. That's kind of worrying. I feel like red needs to connect to that. And if it's going to go all the way around there, maybe we should look for another place where red can be alleviated. Perhaps if we just get rid of those two, and make green take care of this. It won't look so bad. Also, green could also jump past that one as well. So now green looks a little bit overworked. Maybe I haven't balanced this in the best of ways. 
You see, green might get a lot of passengers going the whole way around its line. Oh, God, green looks really bad. Okay, no, we're changing up the plan. <laughs> Locomotive, I'm going to take the tunnels, even though we kind of need a line. But for the long game, we want to pick those up as quick as we can. And, uh, yeah, this doesn't look good. Okay, that's obviously going to go to red. And now we've got two coming around. Yes, so you can see green's got a lot of passengers, which I think he's going to drop here to go around to the next area. And is it me, or did most of them get on? Oh, they were all whites on there. Sorry, white circles. So they got off uh, at that bit. Okay, that's cool. Oh, let's speed it up as well. Let's go in the fast mode. And now green is looking once again overworked. So let's drag red around to these stations. I think this whole doubling up method probably isn't the smartest thing to do. Uh, but it seems to be working for us at the moment. And that is a lot of people on that station. I'm kind of worried. <laughs> And the blue, the blue track's doing absolutely fine. We also have an extra locomotive in reserves. Let's bring that one out. Let's put that on the green line. That's where it needs to go, clearly. And again, this early game, this is all going to get a redesign later on. It's looking a bit stretched. And I think what we need is like a circle here and then a circle over here. But we'll let it expand. And the fast mode sometimes just ain't fast enough, it feels like. Okay, so let's put that in the middle. And I feel like if we were to rearrange this a little bit, perhaps we could get it to not use that bridge. But that's probably quite unlikely. If we get another station up here, we'll be able to do that. And look at that. Okay, we've got another one. We're going to se select the locomotive and the line. And what I was talking about was if... <laughs> I think I might have got this wrong. Now, if we drag it like that, now we're not using a bridge. Now we have five bridges in reserve, which is kind of good. It could also mean this. We make circle... Uh, circle the blue line a loop like so I think that's smart let's resume let's play on the fast speed let's think about where this other line is going to go at the moment I feel like we definitely need um, some support in the middle here so maybe just for now we drag it not like that <laughs> like this and then it can visit the uniques and come back round on itself like so and the locomotive is already there this probably needs to be an interchange at some point but once again, we'll probably save that for later. So doing pretty good. Let's speed it up to the third speed. Uh, this is starting to feel okay. I think red is well and truly overworked at this point. So we should look for um, some ways to reduce its strain. Like over here, it's getting quite bad. And maybe... Can we go to that station? We can. And now we reduce another bridge. And that's a unique. So that was a, a good move for multiple reasons. Should we also connect the blue line to it? Yes. Okay, that looks alright, although having all of this looping together is never too smart. I feel like uh, red no longer needs to go over here either. And now it's picked up an extra station. Okay, everything looks kind of alright, and we're getting into that groove. We are indeed. <laughs> Things are going okay, and we're progressing. However, blue line is starting to look stretched again. We'll take the locomotive. This time we're going to take a carriage, so that we can... And I paused it, I don't know why I did that. We're going to put that... On that line and also the locomotive as well because this one is always going to have uh, lots of people coming to it and now we have yet another station so can blue hold in it's getting close it's getting a little too close for my liking and we've got another station to put on the line okay are you gonna be okay no you went all the way through and I believe that means we need to reposition you to face this station we survive <laughs> how are we gonna do here it looks really bad all of a sudden um, can we take purple and try and get it to help with this situation just for a moment? How are you going to do purple? Are you going to be able to help out? And they're moving. Yes. Yes, we're good. You can go back to purple right now. That's where you're needed. Okay, right. And now we need to connect this one as well. Things got a little bit hectic there. Don't know if you noticed. Let's connect it up like that. And if we go the other way around... Ah, I know what to do, I know what to do. We go like that, and then we go like that. That makes sense, doesn't it? I'm sure you understand what I was trying to do there. Trying to avoid the bridge and make the track nice and short. Okay, so let's resume. Um, purple's looking stretched again. We pulled another locomotive onto the blue line. That might have been a bit premature. And now we've got this station here. Uh, apparently there's a locomotive there. Okay, there's one for green. And now things are just de-stressing a little bit. All over the place, that's good to see. So, who goes out to this square over here? Can the green line do it? It can, and I think that means, once again, we need to look for a place or two where the green line can have its load reduced, so we'll just move on right there. Okay, things looking okay-ish. <laughs> it's always slightly worrying. Let's speed up the speed, 
Speed up the speed, wonderful. And red's gonna have to go all the way over there. So now, once again, red looking pretty stretched. And where can we alleviate it? We could actually alleviate it here and just go through the one in the middle, but that's probably not gonna make too much of a difference. Plus, a square needs to be on the red line, so it's these uniques, they're just a little bit too stretched out, aren't they? Uh, but it's going okay, I guess. It's doing all right. <laughs> and uh, there's not too much to talk about, I guess. Just watching it all go. When red comes down here, it's going to alleviate all of this. There we go. And now green has an extra station. So, a locomotive at this point would be wise to take the extra line. Although, if you think about it, if you take the carriage, that's more people being um, dealt with than if you get a line, I suppose. So, I kind of feel like there's no place to put a line at the moment. We'll put an extra locomotive on red going up and we'll put the extra carriage on purple maybe or blue I think blue we've got to play blue safely here so you'll go over there or wherever it's needed let's go up to the fastest speed and uh, we're approaching 1000 we're at 800 860 70 even and things are looking okay-ish aren't they Okay-ish is the word of the day. So red has three locomotives and an extra carriage there. It's doing quite well. Um, I also put the blue carriage onto the one that already had to. And uh, I'm not sure that was the best of moves. So red really looking stretched now, but we want it to stay connected to these uniques. And it needs to stay connected to the square. So I don't see too much of a place to alleviate it, I guess. It's just going to have to stay how it is for the moment. And I feel like one of these blue carriages should go on the red line. I'm going to take a guess there that that's the right thing to do because it feels like a little bit of a gamble. You can see there are just way too many people building up on this line. Okay, that's a bit of a bogey. We do have the bridges, but who's going to pick that up, eh? Because uh, we kind of need our other lines doing things. And all over the place it's getting a little bit hairy. We really need to connect something to this. I'm kind of tempted to use red to come around like this, but it doesn't make any sense really does it so it's gonna have to go to green and I don't like the look of green now it's got one locomotive we're gonna have to take this one from red and put it on the green line that just makes too much sense to me and I think it's got a triangle on it as well okay no it dumped them off there by the looks of it and then put it on this line which is something I didn't realize it did it dumps the passengers off so you've got to be careful with that uh, we will take the locomotive and of course the carriage we just need uh, more capacity right now so we're gonna put that on green and then we're going to put this one on blue. Blue is just starting to look a little bit stretched again. And let's see how we hold up here. Let's go into the faster speed. So this station, nope, let's not go into fast speed. Let's pause. Okay, something's, something's coming along. We should be good. Pick some people up, please. And you drop some off. Pick them up. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot of people on that one. I think that's acting like an interchange at the moment. It's the end of the red line, perhaps the green line drops everyone who needs to go somewhere else there first. And over here we've got something that looks pretty close going on, but we've got our... Ooh, it didn't pick up enough people. So you know who's going to pick this one up, it's the red line, which is really stretched. I think we need an extra line. And uh, now we need to get a locomotive from somewhere as well. <laughs> the red line would be the place, the purple's only got one. You know, purple's not really doing a lot, it's a support line basically and all of its stations are clear. So where is the purple locomotive? Is there not actually a locomotive there? I need to find it <laughs> before we die. There it is, got it. You are now going here. I think it's too late, I really do. Come on, come on, come on. Don't let that be the end, 1,200. Move, 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 you've got it, you've got it. And we did it, we saved the day just in time. Fantastic, okay, that worked out, <laughs> that saved us. And remember, if we take a locomotive from somewhere, it's going to dump all the passengers at that place. So for the moment, the purple line has only got one station of its own. That's a, that's an oversight. Purple definitely can do more than that. I think purple needs to uh, get more involved, <laughs> so to speak. Let's move you around like that. Okay. Purple line's a bit bigger. Blue's got more to do. And what we really need is an extra locomotive from somewhere. And I think we're going to take it from the red line this time. So you are going to dump all of those off there and then come over to the purple line. So look, he drops off all the passengers even though they're not at the destination. Now this one's going to come down and sort it out. And man, green is looking really stretched over here. Oh, we are really in the thick of it now. <laughs> I feel like maybe we've been needing an extra line for some time. These stretched out lines just aren't doing it, are they? We're 1,300 people into this and we're way too overworked. 
Okay, now we've got a problem down here, but that locomotive was just going straight past everyone. Okay, we'll take the locomotive and we'll take the line for sure. Where is this line going to go? For now, I feel like we just need to convert it into a support line because we've got too many stations here that need help. So we also want a square. We really need a square. Let's go up and down and you should connect there. <laughs> Except I can't get it to. There we go. And then go over to that circle. So hopefully uh, this thing can make a difference. Is it starting here? It is. It's picking people up. That's good. So we've got two warnings over here. Blue doesn't seem to be so stressed out anymore, does it? Let's take... No, let's not do that. Let's take the locomotive. And where are we going to drop it? Right here, facing in that direction. Oh my god, things have got stressed out <laughs> and tense pretty quickly here. And I'm starting to think that we are probably overworked and probably heading to our demise. Okay, this one over here. We're going to get there. We've got some circles. No, we haven't because that was a circle station. Nope, that's it. We're done. I'm pretty sure we're done. We won't be able to grab another locomotive and move it over. Um, but I'm happy with that. That was really chaotic. 1,500 uh, almost. And that was pretty good fun. <laughs> Awesome, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, this will be the last like mini metro before I'm going on my vacation so it might be over a week before uh, you see another episode of this but of course let me know by leaving a like and leaving a comment down below if you want to see more mini metro and that wasn't exactly the best of playthroughs but I was just having a little bit of fun so hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, yeah let me know if you want to see more so as always thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you next time bye bye Thanks for watching this video. I have a second channel where you can find additional videos of my Twitch live streams. If you're interested in watching one of my live streams, then come over to Twitch and hit that follow button to be notified of when I go live. And if you're not subscribed over here on YouTube, then feel free to subscribe for more content like this. I also have a creative plot world server, play.assumavoid.com, where you can build on your own plot and join in the fun with our wonderful community. And if you like social media, then you can interact with me on Twitter at assumavoid.com. Links to all the relevant things can be found in the description box below.